I'm a single woman in her 40s. Have I downloaded every dating app? Yes. Have I deleted every dating app? Yes. Well, I'm alone again. I'm going to a bar again. He's done it. I've never had anyone looking after me. I look after me and I hate it. That's the thing. I hate it. I don't like being on my own. I don't like being lonely. I don't like not having anyone, whether that's friends or a boyfriend or whatever. And I'm sick of it. Is it embarrassing being a single 26 year old woman living alone um, with no plans on a Friday night? Yeah, a little bit, but also I just got a large Dr. Pepper from McDonald's and I got myself a large meat lover's pizza from Domino's. Okay. And now I'm just going to go home and finish Bridgerton with my pet turtle. So Treat yourself. Actually, I think I'm doing okay. I'm in this headspace right now where I'm, I just feel incredibly lonely. Um, I just don't feel seen. I don't feel like I have people that see me. On a lot of comments from men saying that they are not looking for a modern woman. I'm going to start documenting all of my dating history so you guys can see what it's like as a single woman over 40 that's trying to date in this generation. I've been stood up, ghosted, lied to, all in a matter of three months. I'm constantly exhausted by seeming to attract the wrong type of people. The people that have no interest or fulfillment in my life. And like my ideal date, like yeah, I love the bougie type of shit, but I've actually gotten to a stage of maturity where it doesn't need to be that. And all I actually crave in this fucking life is consistency. Consistency, respect, truthfulness. And that's fucking it. I don't know why it's so hard to come across. And I am really considering moving countries because I just do not feel like Australia can offer me that type of person. Frustrated with this concept of I need to be okay with my own company and I need to be okay on my own and I need to value myself and all of this bullshit. It's I know my worth, I'm a good girl, I'm a good person, I've got a good heart, I've got so much love to give everyone, like friends, relationships, family, even a stranger I would try and give my love to if they needed it. Like my hyper independent self is struggling with the fact that I just want somebody to tell me that it's okay and to... <laughs> Hold me, hug me, I don't know. I am the problem. I went on a date with this guy and he was like, it's getting late, do you wanna come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not gonna sleep with you. Like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine, just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place, he respects my wishes, he's so nice, he cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you gay? Like what? And like, I. He, I just wanted him to like try and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? I wasn't gonna sleep with him, I, but I just, now I feel ugly. I just tried going on a blind date and I was extremely humbled, extremely humbled. As soon as I walk up, this man is drinking a glass of wine. I'm like, oh, hi. He's like, he follows me and I've met him one other time before. So it wasn't completely blind date, but we had never like, you know, when I sit down, he's pretty much, he's like, I'm sorry, this is awkward, but this isn't, this isn't it for me. And I'm like, no, it's not awkward. That's fine. Like, I get it. Sometimes you can feel right off the bat. I'm just curious. What is the reason? Like, what did I, what energy did I bring that made you so quickly be like, oh, no. But I'm like, I get it too. Sometimes I feel that energy and I, I respect you being like, this isn't it. He says, you don't look like the last time I saw you or your pictures on Instagram. I have the beauty filter on right now, but I do not face to my pictures when I, upload pictures on my stories i put like the paris filter on but, like fucking sue me like sorry beauty filter off like i don't think i look that different like no my skin is not perfect by any means but enough to send someone away on the first five seconds of a fucking day uh, which i'm not mad at this guy because when it's not it you know that's not it but fucking a dating is hard i'm in the trenches right now and 
I really don't. I'm not trying to catfish anybody. Like, I'm just... Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I turned the beauty filter back on because, yeah, it makes me prettier. Fucking get over it. Get over it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to my best friend's house now and drink some wine. That. When you live by yourself, and I mean by yourself, and you don't have anyone to wake up in the morning, anyone to go, oh, I noticed we've run out of this, or anyone to ask if you want to do something on your day off, anyone to spend your time with, anyone to watch a series with, anyone to do literally anything with and i don't even mean romantic i mean i've got fucking no one and people don't understand that that is fucking bullshit i'm gonna say what everybody's thinking some of these moms who get on this app crying their eyes out about how hard motherhood is i don't care i don't care i don't give a f because it's never a woman who took her kids from a dangerous situation. It's never a mom whose husband left them high and dry. It's always actual videos I've seen. Actual ones. That one high yellow woman. Oh my gosh, got these three kids. Like, I can't handle it anymore. It's so difficult. People don't think that moms had dreams before having kids. Come to find out she's living with the father of her kids. They are married. I said, hey, maybe take it up with your husband because you clearly seem overwhelmed. He gets on this app cussing us out. Being like, y'all, I don't got a man. At least I got a man. Well, do you? Because I can't tell. That woman last week who literally had five kids and three deadbeat baby daddies come to find out she also now has a boyfriend planning and crying because she can't find a job that fits her schedule and she doesn't want to be one of those baby mamas i don't want to ask my baby daddies for help because i see how like i don't want to be like a bitter baby mom you're struggling you're literally struggling and all the comments are being like villagers are not what they used to be oh my gosh like your family's so horrible for not helping you out you don't think the village is tired you don't think they're tired. You don't think they tried to help her. A lot of y'all needed therapy, not kids. This whole dating thing is a bunch of horseshit. So I just want to tell you about two out of like only five experiences. The very first one, before even going out on a date with this guy, I found out that he actually had a girlfriend of three years. Next guy, I went on two dates with him. And then I found out he has a girlfriend who's pregnant. What's up YouTube? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So on to this episode, we have these older women complaining about the dating market, which surprises me because most of these women are the same ones who claim that they are happy being single. They would rather be alone. They don't need no man. They want to be independent. But at the same time, I am happy that this woman is speaking out. You know, most of these women come to social media to claim they are happy. But in real life, they are not. They need someone. They don't want to be alone. And I'm happy that this woman spoke out. She's calling them out. Stop misleading women into thinking it is all fun being alone. It is fun being lonely. It is not. And I respect her for speaking up. I respect her for not pretending on social media now we've gotten to the point where i read the comments let's see what people had to say about this our first comment says these women are exhausting oh okay why do they post themselves being so miserable for the world to see i don't understand it well same here i don't understand but i guess it is what it is right low effort women who can't even carry a conversation or actually bring something to the table yet they have the time to complain online and get 15 tattoos Ooh, okay imagine having all those years of being able to pull anyone you want and then waiting 20 years and end up with nothing well if you look at it from this perspective it is crazy the dating pool is large in your 20s, but as you age, the pool of good people gets smaller, okay? Alright, so guys, this is where I am ending today's video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's get interactive. What is your opinion on this video? Thank you so much for coming back. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet and stay safe out there. I love you all. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!